Greetings, Trials Heads, from the land of Santa Claus and the home of Red Links, Finland. Over the next two episodes, we'll be mixing business with a healthy dose of pleasure as we show you some of the hijinks we happen to find in Helsinki while still honing your skill set as a map maker and shining the spotlight on a big new name in custom maps. I hope you have your boarding passes because we're officially cleared for takeoff. Let's do this. Shogun and I were ready for an adventure, so we hit the road to Redlands. We couldn't wait to see what the guys had in store for us. Hi, my name is Yankee, and I'm here to pick up Cannibal Shogun and Dale Automata, my fellow Americans. I've been here in Finland for about six months, and I'm going to introduce them to the magic of the far north. As we met up with Yankee at the airport, we were ready to rock. Not even 14 hours of traveling could dim our shine, and the Red Lynx crew wanted to welcome their new American friends by introducing us to some traditional Finnish foods and activities. Today we're going to try a special Finnish delicacy called mammy. Now I heard that this mammy they eat on holidays, particularly Easter, with cream. Let's fire this up. Oh buddy, that does not look good. So let's uh, take some stay under here. brownies here. It's a little, it's a little more runny than I was expecting it to be. All right, so we're gonna dig in and give this a try. It's not bad. <laughs> it's not very good. Look at that. It's like a little kid tried to make a cake and it didn't quite come out right. Right. What's the final verdict here? We need to give a score for the mammy. A score for the mammy. All right. Well, on appearance, I give it a one out of ten. On taste, I'll be a little, a little more uh, forgiving, and I'll say six and a half. And that's the final word from Finland. Mammy. This guy's having a good one. First, he takes top prize in the DLC competition, and now he's won our hearts too. He's a star on the rise. Give it up for Dritasaga and his black track. Princess Alga is an admitted addict who claims that Trials has ruined his life. Clearly a joke since he has nothing to complain about, and neither do we. We love the detail on display here, as well as the use of dynamic physics and cameras. Black Track features some really unique segments that contain a collection of crazy obstacles. Most of all, it's just a fun ride. Alga sums up what he likes best about mapping with two words, freedom and possibilities. To him, the only limits are those set by his own creativity, and clearly the force is strong with this one. So give it up for your Big Thrills champ, Dritis Alga. This time on Build Your Skills, let's let the developers do the talking. Straight from the mouths of the masters, it's Red Link's interview time. So I'm here with uh, Sebastian Altman, who uh, works here at Red Link's. Tell us a little bit about what you do here. Um, I have been the lead programmer in Trials HD, and then I have made a couple of tracks for the game. So I hear you are the designer of Inferno 2. Oh yes, yes. <laughs> it's one of my favorite tracks. And it's designed to be the last track of the game, so if you pass it, you will feel like you have accomplished something. I definitely felt pretty good the first time I managed to beat it. So we used some part of the track for testing the physics, also we, we tuned a lot, lot of the physics and made, made the bike so that it could go over, over obstacles that are much harder and, and of course we needed some really, really hard tracks. Well there you have it guys. Inferno 2, not only incredibly difficult, but helped make Trials HD the awesome game that it is. So I'm here with Yorma Sanyo, who works at here at Red Links. Tell us a little bit about what you do. I'm the project manager of Trials HD and I did the network integration. So I hear around here, uh, you are the guy to come and ask when you're having issues with like frame rate lag. Yeah, I'm one of things. Um, so could you maybe uh, give our viewers a few tips on how to keep frame rate lag down on their maps? 
Uh, it uh, depends very much on the situation. There are uh, several kinds of uh, frame lag. You have physics space. If you have lots of physics objects, you have to cut down and simplify the physics. Then there is a particle lag. If you are lots of particles are being exposed at the same time, that comes lag. And then there's just a normal rendering lag and uh, light is lighting issues that you have to simplify or have uh, less objects in the, in the screen to render. So another thing I know a lot of our viewers have problems with is making maps that are too big and then they can't save them. Any uh, good tips for keeping their file size down? Well, the uh, biggest thing is that you have to keep the object count low. Uh, because every small object is, uh, takes pretty much the same amount of space as the, as the big objects. And then if you want to still cut down the uh, smallest amount of space you have left, you, you can use the same objects in the similar fashion because we, we use packing for the level. So similar objects are packed more tightly. Well, thanks Jorma for giving us some insight yeah. on uh, building tracks and trials HD. No problem. Like we said earlier, the guys at Red Links wanted our adventure to include an authentic taste of Finnish life. What better way to have some fun than to get a group of inexperienced Americans on the slopes? What's up, riders? We're here at the Umas Holly. Uh, we're gonna check out some uh, indoor cross-country skiing. Cross-country skiing is a big sport in Finland, so we're gonna go see what it's all about. Fall over, have some fun. Let's do it. All right, so here we go. We got our sticks, we got our skis, and I'm fixing to kick both these guys' butts in some cross-country skiing. Whatever. There you have it folks, that's cross country skiing here in Helsinki. And uh, we heard that Santa Claus lives here in Finland. I think we might have found this house back here. Oh, oh Santa, Santa Claus! Claus. Hey. Welcome, welcome. Hey, thank you. Hey, welcome. What'd you bring me this year? I bring you Trials A3 Big Grills. Well, we hope you enjoyed that, because I know we did, and you've only seen the half of it. We'd like to thank Drita Salga for stopping in, and everyone at Red Links for bringing us to Finland and showing us the time of our lives. Remember, the Big Thrills DLC is out now, and at a measly 400 points, makes a great stocking stuffer for any gamer on your shopping list. Join us next time as Season 1 goes out with a bang, a bike, and a body slam. Until then, keep cranking that throttle. Red Links TV out.